Folks, I hit the mic. Cut that part out. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Folks, you know what time it is. It's time for Pokemon Go. And that's right, I stole that intro from Curtis Connor, so. Curtis Connor's the bomb. Curtis Connor is the bomb. So if you don't know who Curtis Connor is, by the way, you should check him out. He's a very funny YouTuber. But either way, Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shreddy and welcome back to the channel. So you might notice, I don't even know if you will notice to be honest because it's still a green screen behind me, but I got a, a whole new setup here. It's been a difficult week because of, you know, putting together a massive desk. You got a good Christmas. Got a good Christmas. Jeeves bought me a nice new monitor, like a hey. second monitor. Like everything is looking great. Jeeves got a nice new chair. Everything, everything is great for Christmas this year. But yeah, so you might notice I'm looking over to towards this way because this is where my monitor is. So either way, uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, if you if you go on to enjoy this video, you know what? I appreciate it if you left a like. It does really help out the videos. And uh, if you're new, subscribe as long as you enjoy the content because I would love to have you guys around. And all you old 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 OG uh, the Shrady bunch. The bunch, yes, the OG Shrady bunch will recognize uh, what I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Uh, you know what? Just, uh, that's a good intro, right? We'll yeah, go with that. Roll the in roll it, roll it, roll it. Put it in the montage. Nice sack, bro. Professionalism. I love you all. Okie dokie then. So yes. You might notice a certain ghost next to me, flexing the fact that it has no legs. Miss Drevis is PewDiePie confirmed. Floor gang, uh, right? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Today we're talking about Miss Drevis. I want to give a huge shout out to the real Slim, who is very close to. Shrady, because you could call him like the real slim shady, and then people call me the real slim shrady. So technically, we're brothers, and I'm his father, and he is also my uncle. So that's how we're related, and uh, I'm glad to uh, finally be showing some of his battles because he's submitted quite a few times, but like this past week has been crazy for me. So I'm sorry for my posting schedule, but we're gonna check out Miss Drevis today. I don't think I've ever seen a video done on this thing. I know there probably has been one done, but. We're gonna check it out, and also, look at this team. Look, just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's a. This is a master at work here. Let's go through the team. Let's check out what his team is. So we got Primopolis in the lead with Counter Close Combat in Night Slash. Then we got Hypno in the Safe Switch. I'm assuming position with Confusion, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. And then we've got Ms. Drevis in the back with Hex, Dark Pulse, and Ominous Wind. All right, go ahead and dislike the video now because I didn't do the Focus Blast bit. Enough rambling. Uh, I'm sure Jeeves had to cut out a lot of this video so far. I, I, I've had a rough week, so I'm kind of mentally... Let's see the battles. <laughs> Let's see the battles. Uh, Jeeves just spent four and a half years editing the part up until here because I am a dumbass and I didn't have anything set up and I haven't made a video in a while and okay let's check this out already right, got Primopolis up against a Flygon how is this gonna go those counters are doing a lot of damage but look at the dragon tails all right very nice timing on the night slash here we're gonna see if we can get a shield possibly uh yeah cuz cuz uh, what's his face old uh old fly Flygon is uh, pretty glassy. All right, so switching into the hip now, this is most likely an earth power. It's actually a stone edge. Either way, both of those would have done a lot of damage, so I think that's a good shield. And then the opponent comes out with a Durant. And by the way, massive respect for running double nukes on the Hypno here. This is amazing. All right, gonna let this come through, and it's a stone edge. Why? You gotta go for X Scissor, my dude. Okay, the X Scissor is super effective, but hey, whatever. He survived it, and now goodbye. Goodbye, Durant. <laughs> All right, Flygon comes back in to farm down, and now what? I get I mean, you come back in with a primate probably because he threw his energy. Most of his energy is gone. You can probably even counter down. 
Oh, he just barely countered down. Switching right away, saving the Night Slash for later. I like that. Coming in with the Mistrevious now and going for the Ominous Wind. Okay, can he get the Omni Boost? That's my question here. Omni Boost? Okay, gets the shield. I was going to say, there's one shield left and the opponent is probably confused because they're also running, you know, uh, <laughs> they're running a Frost, Bre Frost Breath <laughs> Lapras. So they're, uh, okay, so Dark Pulse lands. That doesn't do that much. All right, Lapras took about seven and a half years to get to that uh, charge move. They're going to be shielding this up because it's probably going to... Oh, it's a blizzard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, uh, frickety frack. It's a blizzard. Okay. Um, Frost, Breath, Blizzard, Lapras. New meta? Question mark? All right. Didn't even need the Night Slash there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. This one's called Bye, Missy. Oh, does he sack the Miss... Is he sacked to Mr. Evis? Okay, picking away very positively here, doing super effective damage because of those counters. The opponent takes a minute to switch out, comes in with an Ariados. Ariados is double resisting the counters because of that bug and poison typing here. Gonna go for the Night Slash Shield, see if we can get a Night Slash boost. No Night Slash, okay, no, no boost, and then switches into the Mr. Evis this time, okay. And then here it is, probably gonna sack it. What is this, Megahorn? Cross poison. Okay, so that's resisted. Everything is resisted here. Oh, they get the boost though. I don't know if you knew this, but um, cross poison was changed to be a night slash. Oh, it's a a by by Missy, by. Okay then. Well, that kind of sucked. Uh, <laughs> all right. But, oh no, he'll pro he'll probably get a shield here. He'll probably get a shield here. Because, like, they're afraid of a fire punch, even. You know what I mean? A fire punch is going to take them out. A focus blast would kill, like, six of these things. So, definitely going to be going for the Shadow Ball here. Because Shadow Ball is 100% enough to take this out. And uh, gets the last shield. That's very nice. And then just waiting for them to throw. Getting the classic Go Battle League lag. You can't... Can't you wait? I, or I can't wait till the, uh, the championships are going to happen. You know what I mean? Those championships... Uh, it'll be really funny. Okay, they both switch at the same time, and this time it is a real Lapras. And not that the last one was fake or anything like that, but uh, this one is running Ice Shard in most likely. Um, maybe Ice Beam, maybe, maybe uh, it's probably got Surf, I can tell you that much. But either way, Prime Ape has two Night Slashes, gets the shield, throws the next Night Slash. This probably doesn't take it out, but one more counter does. And the opponent seems like they know that it's over at this point because they didn't even throw an ice shard and they back out of the game. Very, very nice. <laughs> Sack the Mistrevious to a resisted Megahorn. All right, into the next battle here. We're going up against a... Oh, Sunny Charm. It's been a minute since I've seen a Sunny Charm, you know. Uh, Ro Rosa Roserade kind of kind of bombed Sunny Charm, you know what I mean? Roserade just has a better typing and uh, pretty much the same moveset. Either way, going to be throwing these nine slashes here. Uh, Sunny Charm is very glassy, so... Uh, now, they did farm up to a Solar Beam, but I doubt it. I doubt it. They're going to go for a Weather Ball here. Oh, oh. I was... Over the, I just, did... Did... Uh, did this person... Um, yeah, they just... Uh, that just happened. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. Okay, so... Uh, we've lost a Pokemon, but we did get a Shield... And Hypno has a lot of energy. Probo Pass comes out. Focus Blast is double super effective here. Can he land it? He lands it. Okay, there's the revenge. And it's a Toxic Rogue in the back, taking double super effective damage from the counters. Sacks to the Mistrevious. And the opponent just says, no. No, thank you. That was, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, this one says, go off, Missy. I like that he named all these battles, too. Because so, so now it makes me curious. Okay, picking up an interesting lead. Got to get out of here, though, for sure. Uh, Charmers are not what you want to see in the lead on this team. All right, so cause the opponent comes in with an Empoleon. And again, Empoleon's probably going to shield because uh, most people... He's going for it, though. He's going for it. Uh, because most people have Thunder Punch, and it still hits for super effective damage. But yeah, so the Focus Blast is a little bit overkill there. Uh, but that is still pretty funny, but he's gonna let this go and I like this play because now he can come in and they went for a blizzard What the hell that's even better because now they don't have enough energy to get to a, a hydro cannon or a drill peck uh, So able to farm down the Empoleon and the opponent comes back in. Oh, is is he still stuck in here? Either way you're gonna have to throw this uh, close combat which is resisted, but it will pro gets the shield Okay, dokie then all right interesting. So uh, another person who decides to double shield their charmer. Wow. What a, what a surprise. It's uh Yeah, well, so Omni boost? Is it Omni boost time? Please get, let, me, let me see the Omni boost. No, give me the Omni boost. Okay, we got two shields here. The problem is these charms are chunking away really quickly. Uh, Slurpuff is definitely well. Charmers in general, I just don't like charmers, and I know a lot of people hate them. You know, they either love them or hate them. You know, 
Uh, but all right, what's in the back? A Magneton? Okay, you know what? Massive respect for this guy's team. I gotta tell you what. Uh, I, I don't like the Charmer Slurpuff, but if the fact that you're using Slurpuff instead of something more meta, I respect it. I respect it. Okay, gonna be able to shield this up, and then one Hex should be able to take out the Magneton, but I love Magneton. Do they have two, though? They don't have two. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, very, very nice. Mistrevious able to close the game there very quickly. All right. This one is a missed opportunity, apparently. Okie dokie. Picking up a lead against a Drapion. Uh, this is very neutral, but probably prefer... Oh, it's an Ice Fang Drapion. Interesting. Uh, I was going to say, it probably prefers... Um, oh, the opponent comes in with a Charmer. I didn't see what kind of Charmer it was, but Catch is a Night Slash. So very nice Catch there. Uh, and it's a Wigglytuff. They expected the close combat. Oh, he actually get his health was so low, but he gets to a second close combat, and this is not gonna, is, they're not gonna double shield. It takes out the Wigglytuff. Holy crap, I did not know a close combat would take out a Wigglytuff. Okay, it was underpowered, I saw that. It was an underpowered Wigglytuff. Still though, like 1373, if that's not that underpowered, you know? All right, so, uh, he, and I think he even said something in the battle form, uh, in the submission, that um, he did some sims, and apparently that, that does KO, even if you do have a 1500 CP Wigglytuff. Could be wrong about that, I don't know. All right, so shielding up the crunch there, and going for the very aggressive farm down here. These confusions are resisted. What's in the back? It's Empoleon. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is get a shield, because they think it's gonna be a Thunder Punch, right? Oh, they call it. Huge call, man, that's um, huge cojones. Very big, very big cojones there. All right, so gets the last shield, and still has a Misdreavus here. Okay, so unfortunately he got farmed down and now he's gonna have to tank a Hydro Cannon. Can he sack? Very nice sack onto the Prime Ape. Holy crap, nice sack, bro. Get out of here with that. All right, here we go. They went for a drill pick for some reason. Gets to the Ominous Wind. This should be taking out the Empoleon and that will be the game. I feel like a baseball announcer right now for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. I accidentally changed the speed of the battle, so let's undo that. Okay. All right. I can't believe that f that uh, close combat KO the Wigglytuff. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. And, and the sack at the end. Very nice. Okay. Once again, picking up a negative lead here. Going to be switching into the Hypno. Let's see what they come out with. What are, what's up with all these Empoleons? I don't see many Empoleons. Uh, eh, I, I've been seeing a lot of Samurots. Like, I don't know. Either way. Empoleon is good Pokemon. That's all I'm going to say. All right, going for the Focus Blast here. Oh, man. There's no way. There's no way he lands this. They're going to shield this. Oh, my God. <laughs> they don't shield it. Oh, is this one of these people who's going to save both shields for their Charmer? Well, this kind of sucks, by, by the way. This is actually really terrible. Yeah, I was going to say. Have to, I mean, you, either way, you're coming in with a Pokemon. Okay, at least did some da damage with the counters there. Yeah, there's, there's nothing you can do there. Nothing you can do at all. All right, this one's a close call. All right. But yeah, since uh, since Wigglytuff has that normal typing, it double resists Ghost, and the fairy typing resists dark, uh, the Dark Pulse. All right, so picking up a lead against a, an uh, Alolan Raichu here. So Alolan Raichu does take super effective damage from Night Slash, uh, but hits very, very hard. So yeah, you got to watch out. Even a Thunder Punch would do a lot to a Primeape just because of how glassy Primeape is. So here comes the Night Slash. This is most likely going to uh, gonna be getting a shield in return. All right, so now we're going to be switching into the Mistrevis to catch hopefully not a wild charge that would that would suck uh it is another thunder punch okay so very nice catch though they're uh, doing super effective damage here as you can see and the opponent is staying in unfortunately loses the cmp tie that's el no goodio as if it is very el no goodio yeah that's a uh spanish per person taught me that from spain um spain new york all right anyway so and then the <laughs> <laughs> they come out with a durant Apparently, okay, we're gonna, okay, okay, gets the shield, that's unfortunate, I wanted to see that. Look how much ca those counters are doing so much. The opponent, he's shielding? Real slim. You are, you are out of your mind, you are out of your mind. Oh, you have a Night Slash, I didn't realize you had a Night Slash, never mind, you're in your mind, stay in your mind. All right, taking off the Durant, switching into the last Pokemon, and it is a Nido King, and we're doing super effective damage here. Good, go for this, oh, now, this is probably a Megahorn. No, oh, they don't have Megahorn. They have Earthquake. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Oh my god, you could have won the game. You could have won the game if you had Megahorn. Big, big mistake. Alrighty then. Next battle, close call. Volume 2. <laughs> Volume 2. Alright, picking up a positive lead. Another Magneton user. Magnetonian the Great. Massive respect. Dude, Magneton, get out of there. What are you doing, dude? 
Okay, Magneton hits hard. I'd probably shield this. I'd probably shield this. Okay, but you can farm all the way down. Like, literally, you just farm this thing all the way down. Okay, now they switch into a Noctowl. Noctowl is doing super effective damage, but because of that normal typing, will still take neutral from close combat and does a lot of damage, as you can see. So, switching into the Hypno here, most likely just going to go for the farm down. Uh, can be... Ooh, but this is weird. You know, Shadow Ball is going to be doing super effective damage, but Noctowl doesn't hit that hard. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hypno can tank a Shadow Ball. And Magneton comes back in. He does have another Shadow Ball here. Uh, I doubt they shield this. If I were them, I would just let this go. Okay, well, they have, a, they have high hopes for Magnetoni in the great, you know, and that's okay. That's okay. It's, o it's okay to have high hopes for your Pokemon. Sometimes it works out. Uh, in this case, I would say it's probably not going to work out for him. Yeah, it didn't work out for him. All right, what's in the back? A Lola Ninetales, or no, it's regular Ninetales. Uh, going to be show throwing the Shadow Ball here. Most likely, is there a shield left? I don't think there's, yeah, there is. Okay, now we're coming back in with the Primeape, but I, I think they're going to get beat. Yeah, unfortunately, the Weather Ball comes before the Night Slash can get through. So this Weather Ball mm, does take out the Primeape. Now coming in with the Mistrevious here, and we are just going to hope that we can tank another Weather Ball. I'm, I'm confident in this. I'm confident Mistrevious can tank this. All right, so side shot coming through. That does. Uh, I, I think I, you want to go straight weather ball there. By the way, uh, just because it gets stab and weather ball is just a really amazing move, even after they nerfed it. All right, so either way, able to land the dark pulse and take out the nine tails. Very very nice. And we are going into number nine for safe measures. I don't even know what that means, but let's check it out. All right, so picking up a positive lead here, doing super effective damage against the normal type Greedent. Uh, Greedent will be able to hit for uh, neutral with the body slam. Was that a Victini? I think it's a Victini. So the Victini is still going to take super effective damage here from the Night Slash. Uh, so they actually decided not to shield it. I guess so they're just sacking the Victini here. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I would shield this up, man. I would shield this up because, uh, yeah, V-Create. Yeah, V-Create is nuts. You don't underestimate V-Create. Uh, it's like Wild Charge, basically, but Fire. A Fire-type Wild Charge. All right, so Greedent comes back in. Greedent will be uh, resisting, double resisting the Ghost-type moves. Actually gets a shield there. Pretty interesting. Uh, this is most likely going to be the crunch. Does it even KO? They went for the body slam. Okay, that was... You know, don't bait there. It's one extra bullet seed, man. It's, it's literally one extra bullet seed. Are you going to go for another one? Oh, is it a single moved Greedent? Or are you just kind of confused? Um, yeah, so Gr Greedent only has two charge moves. They double shield the Greedent. They know there's a Primeape. A Gudra comes in, unfortunately gets farmed down, not able to switch out in time, but Hypno can come in here. And this is a Muddy Water, 1,000% of Muddy Water. That was not long enough for a Power Whip. And uh, Muddy Water, yeah, as you can see, it's, it sucks. It sucks. It's not good. So Muddy Water, whatever. All right, are we going to see a Focus Blast here? Come on. I, I, I want to see him get the debuff with the Muddy Water. Oh, I want to see him get the debuff and then land the Focus Blast. That's what I want to see. Okay. All right, going for the Focus Blast. Oh, has to sh oh no, actually doesn't have to shield this. Can survive. Barely, though. Barely, though. Huge, huge cojones. Oh my god, just tanking all those muddy waters. A single moved Gudra. Oh no, what's in oh it's just that greedent left. Oh it has to switch out. It has to switch out. Oh they throw! Oh so lucky. That's so lucky because they could probably farm down there with the bullet the, the uh, bullet seeds. Okay, so Prime Ape comes in and this this is over. This is over. We shield this up. Go for the close combat. I probably could just even farm down at this point, but it would be funny to see a close combat. So yeah. Yeah, real slim knows what's up. Real slim knows what's up. We get to see the close combat on the one HP. Greetings, GG's my friend. Double move your Pokemon, my my friends. All right, number ten, the last battle. It is called Go Off Missy, Volume Two. <laughs> Are there volumes here? Uh, we got we got volumes of battles all day long. Picking up a terrible lead, gonna be switching into his own Hypno here, and this Hypno is deciding to stay in. I'm expecting a Shadow Ball. Can you sneak a confusion through? No, you cannot. Uh, I've noticed, by the way, when you like switch, uh, when you switch your Pokemon and your opponent does not, uh, you're it's very hard to get a move through when your opponent throws a charge move. So, wasn't paying attention there, but we're going to see a Focus Blast on something. What is it? It's a oh missed opportunity. Yeah, that sucks. All right. So either way, uh, this Nine Tails is. Uh, by the way, Nine Tails is pretty underrated for this cup. Pretty underrated. Very good Pokemon. Um, all right, so now we're going to see a Shadow Ball come through. This will hit for neutral damage and will do quite a bit, but I don't think they shield this. Yeah, because they survive. Uh, so now they're going to have to throw... Okay, sneaks a confusion through, so could... Uh, yeah, I was going to say could shield that, but the Hypno is almost dead, so 
We'll keep that, uh, we'll keep that shield for later. Come in with a mischievous to farm down. And are we gonna see an Omni Boost? I wanna see an Omni Boost. Oh, Marsh Dump. Okay, Marsh Dump comes in. Respect, respect the spice. I like Marsh Dump a lot, actually. Uh, I actually like Marsh Dump better than Swampert, believe it or not. That Surf did so much, holy crap. Hypno comes in. Okay, at least we can do super effective damage here with the Night Slash. And they actually made a mistake by going for that Surf because they could have just came in with the Hypno and farmed all the way down. And they actually threw a charge move as well. That was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. They could have just farmed all the way down with one shield. And now they have a Hypno up against <laughs> up against the Misdreavus here. And Misdreavus is going to be doing super effective damage with literally everything. So I think we're going to be able to take this one. All right, Omna. Oh, gets the Omni Boost. Gets the Omni Boost. That is amazing. Does he shield? <gasps> Calls it calls the thunder punch huge cojones once again marsh dump comes in marsh dump are you ready for an omni boosted dark pulse i no. the answer is no the answer is absolutely not he is not no all right so uh i think we know what happens here we shield this up we farm down we finally got to see an omni boost and guess what he also sent a bonus battle so uh, most of the time, uh, recently I've been picking my own battles for bonus battles, but he sent me one. So let's see what the bonus battle is. I don't know what, I don't know what it's going to be. I didn't even see the team because, uh, Streamlabs put a little thing in the way. So let's check it out. All right, going up against Lacrosse. All right, pick it up at lead against a Trevenant. Okay, um, this is, this is okay. I mean, you do super effective damage with Night Slash, but you take neutral damage from everything and the counters are double resisted. So this is okay. I think this is probably positive just because you get to Night Slashes so quickly um so yeah we're gonna get shields here uh unfortunately can't really switch into the hypno because that's a terrible place to be for a hypno so we're gonna shield this up it's most likely a seed bomb bait uh so they do get to the moves at the same time if they're both going for night slash and seed bomb i believe primate outpaces on the third one i don't know i don't know either way getting both shields very early in the game that's actually pretty good here so uh the opponent may be thinking uh what he's got in the back and needs to keep this okay so there we go we're coming in with the mischievous here unfortunately might have to shield this up. This is most likely a seed bomb, but it could be a shadow ball. It is a shadow ball, so huge shield there. Very nice call. All right, so we're going to go for this ominous wind here, because if you don't, then you're going to get seed bombed or shadow balled, so we got to get rid of this thing. All right, so the Trevenant is finally down, and what do we got? We got a Digger's Bee. Oh, this is pretty bad. But the thing I remembered about this team that he's running, I think uh, I think Hypno's, I think Hypno's got a move that does super effective damage to, to Digger's Bee. And also... Nice sack, bro. Nice sack. All right, catching the fire punch. That does basically nothing. Whizcash comes in. Oh, this is... uh. Can you even win this? I mean, we'll see a focus blast here. All right, so uh, it looks like the opponent's going for a mud bomb. Water pulse. Okay, interesting choice there. Uh, so if shields are down, first of all, don't run water pulse. Uh, second of all, if your shields are down, go for blizzard. Uh, blizzard, even though it doesn't get stabbed, is more energy um, efficient. So, yeah. Okie dokie then, so I'm assuming another Water Pulse coming through, is that what's going to happen here? Okay, Water Pulse, alright, arms down, has a Focus Blast, yes, we get to see it, we get to see it, go Diggersby, well, let's see what happens here, I think we know what happens, Diggersby, goodbye, goodbye Diggersby, I love Diggersby, and that was amazing to watch, alrighty then, so very, very nice battles, thank you Real Slim, I very much appreciate that, uh, thank you guys for stopping by, I really appreciate you coming in, and I'm sorry that Things have been kind of a mess lately, and I haven't been posting as frequently as uh, some of you might want to see. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like. And if you're new, subscribe as long as you enjoy the content, as there will be much more like it on the way. Plus, I'd love to have you around. You know, just hang around. Buddies, Join you know. The Join the Shrady Bunch. Fastest growing. We're, we're not. On the we're not a cult. TM. <laughs> Join the Shrady Bunch. Alright y'all, <laughs> thank you so much. Take it easy. Shout out to my patrons, Running Froggy, The North Star, JR91, Draco Bound, Nuclear Ninjas, Ankle Weights, Emidio Lara, K, Bigler Banks, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, Moach, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Kitty Sophie, Kit Gulek, Will M, Edward O'Neill, Infamous One, Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, and Subin, Stashu, Madhouse655321, Pineapple to Pidgey, Radakina, and Richard.